Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Driver Mod. Welcome to the sunny state of Florida. It's the middle of Mustangs at Daytona week, but that doesn't mean the mods on the GT350 are on pause because our friends at Solar Performance have sent us another part that they want us to display for you guys and install and give you a review on. So this is their DLX electronic throttle controller. We're gonna show you what it looks like, show you how to install it, and give our initial driving review impression. Now, before we get to unboxing Solar Performance Electronic Throttle Body Controller, I do want to sincerely thank everyone for the support and feedback they gave me on the Solar Performance Throttle Body install video, as well as the follow-up video where we tested them side by side. If you haven't seen either one of those videos, we installed the Solar Performance 91 millimeter throttle body on the GT350, no tune required, and we'll explain why in that video. We also did a follow-up video where I put the stock throttle body back on the GT350, did some pulls in the 350, and then swapped it out, put the Solar Performance throttle body back on the car, did some pulls, compared the time side by side, and the time difference might surprise you, again, without a tune. So because of that positive feedback, support, and interest in the product, we've got another product for you to try out. Let's get started with the install. Now before we get to unboxing, we're gonna get to the first step of this install, and that is you're gonna wanna disable the vehicle so that the key doesn't actually get powered on, or when you, you want the vehicle to be in sleep mode. So what you're gonna wanna do, go ahead and open the door, the hood, and any of the other doors that you may or may possibly might not need. Let the vehicle go to sleep, or you can just go ahead and disconnect the battery. This is gonna prevent any sort of triggering when you're moving the throttle down there because you're gonna have to release the accelerator pedal. Um, so just that small actuation might wake up the computer and it might end up setting the check engine light in your car the next time it fires up might be in limp mode. So to make sure that doesn't happen, Make sure the car is in sleep mode or disconnect the battery. So you've gone ahead and done that. You're gonna wait about 10 minutes before you do anything else. Now let's go ahead and unbox the electronic throttle controller from Solar Performance. So this is the packaging it comes in. It's a little about four by six inch box. Just go ahead and pop the cover on it. And there is the actual device that you're gonna interact with to uh, adjust the throttle sensitivity. So you've got your actual throttle body controller. It's got 3M double-sided tape, so you can mount it and stick it anywhere in the vehicle that is comfortable for you or works for you. So it's very customizable as far as the setup goes. And then beneath that, you have the actual cord and piggyback device that's gonna plug into the stock harness, as well as the connector on the throttle pedal itself. And then you have your little USB-C cord that you're gonna route up through the dash or along the column or how, again, wherever you position the controller you're gonna route it up and connect it to this. And then all you're simply gonna be doing is using this device to control the sensitivity of the throttle. And then we also got a couple zip ties just in case we need to uh, secure it to something. So that's what it all comes with. Now we're, while we're still waiting in that 10 minute period to uh, let the car go to sleep, we're gonna go ahead and show you the Solar Performance website where they explain in great detail how this product works. All right, guys, here's Solar Performance's website. It is www.solarengineering.com, as you can see up there on the top left. Once you get to the website to find the GT350 or Ford-specific throttle body controller, you're going to go to Store, and then you'll see the drop-down menu, Ford Motor. That's going to bring you to their Ford products that they offer, and you'll see the throttle body controller right there. It covers a variety of models. It is the SEO 622 Tech TC. As you can see, here's the product right here. It goes over all the generations and Ford vehicles that it, it will work with. They also have a couple good diagrams to kind of show you what the throttle body controller can do for you. So again, I mentioned the multiple different settings and modes that the throttle body controller has, each one creating a different sens throttle sensitivity. So as you can see, for example, in eco mode, which is the green portion of the graph here, when you're at, you know, like 50% throttle, it's only giving you about, you know, 35, 40%. And then it kind of goes up from there. Whereas sport mode, 30, 35% throttle is giving you about 80% throttle. Ludicrous mode and drag mode are supposed to be for track use only. Now within each one of those modes, you have nine different settings to choose from to further fine tune it to your comfort and liking. Here are all the different modes and what the throttle body controller display is gonna look like, what each one of the buttons does. You have your fine tuning button on the right, the mode select button on the left, 
And then the center display will tell you what mode you're in as well as the current level. So again, up to 10 levels in every mode. Looks like there's even a valet mode. So that's a, that's a cool feature. So now that you've seen what the throttle body controller can do for you, let's go ahead and show you how to enter the promo code that they gave us, which is gonna give you 10% off your order. So you're gonna add the throttle body controller to your cart, hit checkout, and go down where it says discount code, and type in TDM350. And that's gonna get you 10% off your order, save you about 20 bucks. Now, it's been about 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and get to the install. All right, so we're in the driver's side footwell, and we're gonna kinda of show you what we're looking at. First off, you wanna have a good light source. So over here, we got the accelerator pedal. This is the accelerator pedal electrical connector. What we're gonna do, just simply unlatch the red locking tab that you can kind of see up there on the top of it. That's gonna allow you to depress the actual locking tab and remove the connector. So just push the tab and pull the connector up. Next, we've got our Solar Performance Auto Body Piggyback Connector. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this end into the accelerator pedal and then the male end into the OEM harness. Space constraints, gonna try and show you everything we can possibly show you. So the end with the red locking tab, that's gonna go on the accelerator pedal itself. It only goes on one way, so don't force it. Once you get it fully connected and you hear it snap in place, go ahead and put the red locking tab down in the lock position. Then you're gonna connect Again, the male end to the OEM harness. This also only goes one way. Align the centering portion of the connector there. Fully seat it, snap into place, and push the red locking tab down so it's flush with the connector. So after a lot of trial and error, the length of the pigtail is what the limiting factor is here. There isn't enough harness in order to securely mount it in a way that I felt comfortable with on that plate or anything else. There's really nothing else that's within reach uh, to mount the uh, piggyback box there. So what we did was I put a piece of 3M tape on the one side of the box, stuck it to the side of the throttle pedal assembly right there so that the harness is out of the way of the pedal and the steering column and then using one of these supplied zip ties I loosely wrapped the harness around the top side of the pedal underneath the connector so now we can route the harness from the box that you see there pointing at us we're gonna route that harness up through the dash to the throttle body controller now where you mount this again is all gonna be based on personal preference and taste uh, keeping in mind that you're going to want to be able to read the display and be able to access it relatively easily. So I would avoid putting it directly like behind the steering wheel, on top of the steering column. But again, it's all up to you. Before you remove the double-sided tape um, backing, I would place this roughly about where you want to position it and then route the harness to make sure it even reaches the actual port. Otherwise, then you're gonna be stuck to having to remove this and likely the tape isn't gonna stick as well that second time. So mock this up in the position that you want, route the harness, connect it, make sure it's not strained, tugging on anything or in the way of anything. And if all's good to go, go ahead and stick this down and secure the harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and position this, run my cable how I like it, and then show you how I did it and where I put it. This is how we decided to mount the Solar Performance Auto Body Controller, and we're going to explain why. The GT350 dash doesn't have a lot of flat square spaces, even for this little piece. I thought about sticking it, you know, down here, down by the center console, but then you, again, you, you won't be able to really see it and read it. There's a nice spot right here, but then it kind of covers the vent 
right here as well as it's behind the steering wheel. I mean, mounting it on the side of the steering wheel column was kind of pointless. And there's really no way to mount it up here without it really kind of like being in the way. And then next, I thought about mounting it down here, but because the cord mounts on the right side of the piece, it would interfere, I think, with the cigarette lighter too much. Over here ended up being the, in my eyes, the best possible situation to put it. It's at a downward angle, but it's far enough away from the steering wheel that you can clearly see it. And then I'm able to tuck the entire harness behind the dash immediately from the connector. So kind of walk you through what I did. Just pop this uh, trim piece off, ran the cable between the dash and this side piece right here, ran the cable up, hooked it up to the controller and then pulled all the slack out. Now we're gonna reinstall the piece and I'm gonna show you how much of the uh, harness actually is visible. Now we got the trim piece installed and as you can see, in my eyes, that's pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. You're gonna see little to none of the harness. We've got it all tucked away. Now we're gonna take all the slack that we have underneath the dash and secure it so that it's out of the way of the pedals in the steering column. And then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so what we did with the harness, kind of just ran it immediately straight out towards the, uh, the front of the dash here. And then we just ran the harness down this OEM harness right here. And then we doubled back and just kept doing that until we got all the slack out and put one zip tie around it to secure it. Made sure we kept all the OEM harness and the solar performance harness away from any of the sharp edges on the dash. Made sure all the slack was taken out so it doesn't interfere with the pedal, steering column, or any of the other pedals. Now we can go ahead and test this thing out.